I'm Hank Willis Thomas, and today I'm the face of America. My parents have always been people who broke the rules or worked against the status quo and were part of a generation of people who didn't know how to kind of do what they were supposed to do and um, opened new avenues in their minds but also in society for, for um, success. And I grew up uh, watching two people follow their dreams and I also uh, saw that unconditional love was a critical part to success in life. My name is Hank Willis Thomas. I'm a person and part of my life is creating images and objects that encourage people to have dialogues around history, popular culture, and the way in which power um, shapes and affects our lives. I discovered that I was an artist when I was probably 28 or 29 years old, although I'd been in art school for probably 12 years by then, and then I had even uh, gotten a master's degree. But throughout that whole experience, I saw myself as just trying to figure life out and ask questions. And so even today, I don't uh, define myself completely as an artist. I do think that uh, that's part of my identity, but I always think that I'm a person who's driven by curiosity and learns through making. Well, I would say that I was definitely inspired by um, James Baldwin, uh, African-American writer, activist, uh, by Malcolm X, a African-American writer, activist, by Gordon Parks, a photographer, by Margaret Burke White, another photographer. Uh, I was really interested in people who didn't do what they were supposed to do based off of what society was telling them. And Audre Lorde probably um, is one of my biggest inspirations in that, right? Well, I think artists should be the civic leaders and that we have a role to play in creating the narratives that our society's culture are based around and that really the laws are a reflection of our culture and that oftentimes when we in the creative community don't see ourselves as doing civic work, we're kind of missing a really important opportunity to affect um, the world that we, that we live in. I think every day I learn of my power and that when we make images and objects as artists, we aren't often thinking that anyone will ever care about them. And so it continues to impress and astound me that I make work and have made work that has a lasting impact on people. I think art is always of its time, about its time, but also in the conversation with the future. Um, and so I can't imagine a period where there won't be a need um, for arguments and debates about human rights and for human rights, um, for greater equality. And I think that's part of the joy of life is the, the beautiful struggle. Lately been doing more and more public artwork and that's really exciting to see um, objects in the world that will be around for 50 years or more and I'm not sure how to imagine how that would affect my life or career or the way that people relate to anything that I do but I hope it, improve, I hope it improves everything. I hope that I get uh, more opportunities to um, put words, images, and objects in the public space that ask viewers to question the status quo. In a hundred years, I hope that there is human civilization on a sustainable planet. 
and I'd be happy to be forgotten.